Hello and welcome to watching the new session of our podcast.、Uh, this is Kevin Hu from Shanghai. So today, let's build a gateway service with BOR tools.、Um, so you know,、um, gateway is a very promising、um, innovation of SAP in recent years. So、uh, gateway has been、um, Consolidated into the full、uh, SAP mobile platform,、uh, which becomes a very important、uh, component of the whole、uh, mobility portfolio. So today, let's build a very simple、um, uh, gateway service to see how easy it is to expose、uh, SAP data to、uh, the outside world. So let's begin. Uh, first, let's log in to the test system.、Uh, this test system is a sandbox gateway system. Let's take a look at the、uh, status of the system. So、uh, it is the ECC 6.0 with several、um, critical components of gateway installed.、Uh, the gateway core and、uh, Let me see. Let's scroll down.、Um, IWBP. Yeah,、uh, these are the two、um, mandatory components.、Uh, several、uh, optional components such as the content,、uh, etc. So、um, in SE80. Uh, very similar.、Uh, let's create a gateway data model. Let's name it Sample Bank Kevin Hu Two.、Uh, it is、um, the type is PS and、uh, generate from data source object.、Uh, here we uncheck the old data channel. So give it a simple description and、uh, select bore、uh, system alias as it is all in local. So we choose local. Click continue. So let's click local object. So here in the、uh, in this screen, you can see we have、um, uh, a list of all the、um, data sources that could be consumed.、Uh, we what we look is here、uh, bank. It is a sample data model.、Uh, let's see.、Uh, the bank has several BAPI、uh, methods. This is the get get list method. Let's map it to a, a query. So、uh, we will change the mapping root. So here we will change to bank country. Also, we have bank country and bank key mapped as S core ID, which is the primary key of.、Uh, Of the、um, data model. So let's create another mapping to the read operation type, and this will return the、uh, details of、uh, our data model. So here,、uh, uh, uncheck what we don't want, and here. Has preserved those attributes such as the bank names.、Uh, let's map it to bank names.、Uh, you have to flatten those、um, attributes. Uh, so here.、Um, 
we have to flatten it one by one, but in uh, gateway to zero SP, I think SP five, uh, you do not have to uh, flatten it. So here we have to make all the attributes in the same layer. Uh, so here. Let's see, and we have the S core ID, which is mapped to the country and uh, bank ID. Okay, so next one is to create. Let's create a mapping. Uh, let's uh, create operation. So here, uh, let's uncheck those unwanted attributes bank country and uh, bank key yes so here we will map it to S core ID um, Click OK. So, last one is to change the update. Update. So, it's quite similar. Um, ID and okay. <coughs> okay, so let's click generate. Uh, this will generate the data models and uh, uh, let's see. Uh, may take some seconds. Okay, it says the data model has been saved. Okay, so let's go back to click the ob object navigation to go back. Uh, the what we have to do is to uh, expose the data model to a um, consumption uh, service. Uh, we have to uh, create a consumption model. C bank, uh, whatever name it is. So uh, basically, there are some naming conventions, but to a testing purpose, uh, it's not quite important. So okay, let's create. We uh, give it a description. Click out. It's a local object also. Okay, so here we go. Um, we add a gateway model. So F four. Can remember it. So F four. You can see. Uh, we can choose the data model that. Uh, we uh, created so double click um, the consumption model and here we can see uh, let's create a new session uh, SICF let's check the services uh, here we have a um, let's do a quick search for Bank service, yes, this one. Uh, as as you can see, it's already be act active. So let's click XML. Uh, well, 
open up the IE to see the um, uh, let's see this is the case we use a name and password and you can see here is the service document of the um, this gateway service that we've been created. The, its name. Uh, this is the name, and we have the sample bank collection. And uh, let's click the metadata. Uh, also, the metadata uh, you can see the uh, detailed um, the structure of the collection, the uh, the, the properties, the um, property types um, etc so let's copy paste the collection name so here we paste it here uh, and do a do a uh, old data query uh, do a filter uh, bank country sorry equals US. Okay. Okay, so we have been queried and it returned all the uh, United States banks here. Uh, and also, you can see uh, from the value, which is the primary key of. Uh, this results you can see this is core ID combined uh, ID and uh, um, bank countries so here let's move on to do a test for other operations so here let's copy the um, service URL here uh, okay uh, yeah, this this tool is called FH, which is an open source uh, tool. You can download it. Uh, it's your name. It's a uh, connection collection name. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is a request body. Let's do a quick test of the uh, post. Look carefully about the, the value. Uh, this is the core ID values. Um, S core ID value, the primary key. No, the schema names here. So uh, we would like to create a new entry. Uh, so here, the bank of Kevin. Click go. Okay. So the response is created. Two o one. Yes, the the entry has been created. So here. Uh, Let me see. Uh, yes. Uh, let's see uh, something more about it. So let's copy paste it into the pass uh, and let's do a uh, get to query the newly created entry click OK yes finished yes you can see uh, uh, 200 it's OK this is the newly created uh, entry so 
So let's do a quick test of the put. Uh, so the put uh, maps to the uh, the update operation. So here let's change one attribute slightly. Bank of Kevin's company. Uh, click. Okay. Uh, this shows uh, no content means it's done finished uh, let's see uh, let's do a quick test of let's do a quick test uh, okay you can see the bank name has been changed So thanks for watching. Bye.